You know, Donald Trump was so angry about the Washington Post Russia bombshell that he tweeted about their owner, Amazon founder and meditation instructor who says erections are perfectly natural, <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Bezos is getting a divorce from his wife of 25 years, and the National Enquirer recently published a series of lascivious texts between Bezos and his girlfriend, leading Trump to tweet, so sorry to hear the news about Jeff Bozo <laughs> being taken down by a competitor whose reporting, I understand, is far more accurate than the reporting in his lobbyist newspaper, the Amazon Washington Post. First of all, a man with an orange face and cotton candy hair <laughs> is comparing someone else to a clown. You know the old saying, those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw giant shoes. <laughs> and second, the National Enquirer is not a competitor to the Washington Post. The Washington Post broke Watergate. The National Enquirer broke the share sex cult scandal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's true. Oh. She once convinced a whole group of sailors that she could turn back time. <laughs> the Enquirer turned the sleaze dial all the way up to 11 to publish Bezos' sexual text messages, or sexages, <laughs> including this one. I love you, alive girl. I will show you with my body, my lips, and my eyes very soon. And I will vomit with my mouth and my lips... <laughs> immediately. <laughs> now, once this divorce is final, it's being reported that his uh, wife, Mackenzie Bezos, could walk away with as much as $69 billion. Yeah. Now, uh, everybody knows I'm happily married. <laughs> but anyone in a long-term relationship knows you get a hall pass. And my wife has always said my hall pass is $69 billion. <laughs> so with that in mind... Hey, Mackenzie. <laughs> Hold on. Alexa, make it sexy. <laughs> Kenzie, if you're ever looking to hang with somebody with an Egg suspended. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, can't talk. I'm just too damn turned on right now. <laughs> if you're ever looking to hang with an exponentially less rich man, you say the word. Because I know what you like. And I assure you, the linoleum matches the no drapes. <laughs> Look, I think we could have some fun. You ever been on a plane with strangers? <laughs> it's pretty wild. They give you pretzels, a whole can of Diet Coke. It's crazy. <laughs> Hit me up, girl. I have enough miles to fly anywhere in my region. Blackout dates may apply. We'll be right back with James McAvoy.